we're headed to, to Dublin. Dublin. Land of you people. Dublin, baby. Ireland trip was like such a fun trip. I had so much fun. Unfortunately, I did lose a lot of footage because my SD card did not work. So I was bringing my camcorder everywhere and I was getting such good content. And then I come home and I plug it in and there's nothing on the SD card. My goodness, getting there was... It was quite a little bit of traveling um, and then we landed at like almost midnight and we had to take a bus to the city center and we didn't get into city center until like 1.15 so the first place we hit up was Mickey D's and when we got there it was like it was only like 1.30 in the morning um, but let me tell you Everybody in the joint smelled like a brewery. There was a literal security guard. Um, it was actual mayhem because their computers broke. So nobody was getting their receipts so nobody knew what number they were. So everybody was like bombarding these poor workers and like cutting other people to try and get their order. And there was like at one point where I was in line because I was like, my food's just not coming out. And I turned back to Elise at one point and I was like, Oh my god, like this is crazy. And Elise was like, she was so politely, she was like, get yourself in there. She was like, she was like, go, go up, go up. And this like middle-aged older guy was like turns around and starts yelling at Elise. And he was like screaming at her. And he has like this accent. He's like, Don't be mean to your friend now. She's got a heart of gold, that one. Don't be rude. Don't be mean to your friend. Don't talk to her. Like and he was just like going off. That was so that was supposed to be my Irish accent. But so he was just like yelling at her and I was like, Oh dear lord. The next morning we woke up and I opened up the curtains snow we were like prepared for rain but this was slushy and sloshy we we're not prepared in any capacity for what Dublin had to offer that day um but we made the best of it to a really cute pub because we just wanted to kill time we had nothing else to do we were like oh we want to try um the beer and by we <laughs> I mean, Maddie. Maddie's palette for beer and wine, this like entire like study abroad duration, impeccable. Like she always amazes me. She's always known to try like a new type of wine, a new, any type of drink. Um, and I commend her for it because mm -mm, I cannot choke back a glass of wine. Um, we go to the wine windows. Mm -mm. Like they're so cute in theory, but I just don't like wine. And so Maddie was like, we're in Ireland, we gotta try the beer. And I'm like, you're so right, you're so right. You order it, I'll sip it. Um, so that's what we did. So we got some drinks. I actually got a porn star martini and that became my bev of choice <laughs> throughout the trip. I was like, this is scrumptious. Um, it was so good. I would definitely recommend. Later that night, we went out to another pub for dinner and might I say, Ireland, wicked fucking good food. It was like everything we ate, was impeccable, incredible. Like, I like remember every single dish because like it's still rotating through my mind and it's like a week later, um, but it just wicked fucking good food. Um, the like aesthetic and the setup in there was just so so cute it was like all dark colors it was very comfy cozy vibes warm lighting i mean our table it was a table and on either side for seating were couches like we were literally sitting on couches as we ate dinner um it was wicked cute in there and everyone was just like everyone was very social like and it was such <laughs> I don't know how many times I fucking say like. I'm so sick of it. I need to expand this vocabulary. I need to read more so I can like. <laughs> I need to read more so that I can transition better because reading helps vocabulary, probably grammar, and I would assume that it helps with general fluidity of speaking. Okay, I just did that. So <laughs> I just did that. Oddly, so that I wouldn't say like. So that's why it came off weird. Or not, maybe that's just how I talk. 
majority of the crowd was young people so it's very very nice <laughs> um there are a lot a lot of cute men in ireland more so than italy i was like oh fuck <laughs> i was astound we woke up we met our group for seven o'clock hopped on the bus if dublin's here on the map <laughs> the cliffs of Moher on the complete opposite side of the country over here so it was quite the drive luckily for me i slept the entire time on the bus it was awesome we got to the cliffs of Moher and it was gorgeous it was like nothing i'd ever seen before it was so so cool one side you have like the like farms and the countryside with like the sheep and the donkeys and the cows and the alpacas and then you have the cliffs and then it's like the ocean coast and it was so wicked cool to see guys i can't believe we're actually here <laughs> just the water looks. I understand why people are tempted. That's so exciting. I know that story though too. I know I was asleep. Please, please tell the viewers. There was a story he told in the bus when he was sleeping and missing all the food. And um, <laughs> it was that there was this long stone and they put another spell on themselves and they turned themselves into horses and they galloped right out. Then we hopped back on the bus and we actually made another pit stop in Galway or Galway. And when we made the pit stop in Galway, we went to yet another pub because we were like over really hungry at this point. So we stopped. It had very much the same vibes as the Harry Lemon from the night before. Then we headed back on the bus and all the way back home to Dublin. That night we went out and she was like, oh, you guys want to go to a club? And I was like, hell yeah. And I was actually telling Brooke before we left, I was like, they don't know it yet. I was like, but we will be getting into a club this weekend. And I really wanted to go to a club because I was like, Dublin just seems wicked cute. And I was like, you're never, I'll probably never be back when I'm like this young, whatever. My mentality was like, I'm going to a bar. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, Lisa and Maddie don't know it yet, but we will be going. But funnily enough, we actually thought that we weren't gonna be able to go to the bar, I'm sorry, the club, because it was so confusing doing research. Um, a lot of the clubs had, you had to buy or pre-buy like tickets or that we saw, I don't actually think that was the case. There was not that much research that went into it. So when we kind of came to a brick wall, we were like, eh, whatever, we'll call it quits. Um, no, yeah, so, we didn't think we were going to be able to go to a club and then Elisa's friend was like, oh, you guys want to go to a club? And I was like, oh, the universe works in mysterious ways. And I was like, yes, yes, I do. So we went to the club. <laughs> We went, we like walked up, it was on the second floor. It was just a big floor, um, but like broken up into different rooms, which was really cute. And there were so many people there, so many cute people there. Um, it was so good for people watching, a lot of cacas. Um, it, was, it was just really fun and it was really cute um, to experience. And then we were like, okay, um, we were walking around some more, and then I saw this really cute ginger with a hat. And I was like, ooh, I was like, I want that one. And then we were, you know, just scoping out some more. Um, we were about to leave, and then we were like, hey, like, let's just do one more lap. Let's just do one more lap. Um, so we did one more lap, and then we ended up on, like, the dance floor. 
whatever and then I saw the cute little ginger and I was like <laughs> when in Dublin and so whatever so I don't know he was he was really cute um, so I went over I talked to him I regrouped with everyone and it was really fun it was a really good time so we left we headed back to our hostel because we had to get up to trek out in the morning and in the morning we went and we got breakfast had one of the best bagels of my life it was wicked good and then we headed back to the airport and we had a very very long travel day back home um we got to the airport around two i want to say um, and Elise and I did not get back to Florence until 5.30 the next day. So it was quite the travel day for us. Um, Maddie had taken the last ticket on the early train right after we had landed. So Elise and I were stuck on the later train and overall it was super duper fun. I would totally recommend it. It was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was so to see the countryside and to see the city and the city when it was not snowing slushing whatever you want to call it that was it was really nice um however even with the snow and the slush we kind of expected it so i wasn't like totally bummed it was definitely like one of those places where i was like i can see this in the colder months when it's not the best weather um and that is what was delivered and we still made the best of it so i still had a wicked fun time mom pops love you miss you yeah i miss you tremendously ash i love you dearest and i miss you so much as well um chloe and all the girlies back home i'm super excited for when i get to see you again sophia marie i love you so much special shout out i hope you're doing well and i miss you a lot um and then, oh, also, um, Leah texted us. She ran into the guys and she texted us a picture and it made me miss them so much. Um, so I miss you guys too. Um, they're not watching this, but, but I do miss them. Um, but yeah, so, um, I don't really have anything else to say other than Ireland was awesome. I loved it so much. Uh, yeah, so I will see you in my next week's vlog. Okay, love you. Bye. Come on, it's badass. <laughs>